realized that I never made an introduction video to my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to do that now. I've tried filming this video like four times. It never turns out right because I, you know, I like, uh, I'm kind of all over the place when I talk. But I give up. I'm just going to film it on the way home. So here we are. Hi. My name is Amy and I have been a licensed cosmetologist for, oh, since about 2009. Um, I currently have been working at the Chris Edwards Salon in downtown Battle Creek for six years. We actually just moved into our new building back in April. We have a brand new beautiful salon. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's, very, it's a lot uh, bigger than our old place. We have a lot more room, a lot more storage. It's very nice. Love it. Um, so, I'm not very good about... Uh, at talking about myself, but I'll try my best. So I'm the type of stylist that I take pride in everything I do. Um, I really love doing a little bit of everything. I offer a lot of services. Um, I do a lot of color, a lot of highlighting, different color and highlight techniques. I love men's haircuts. I love doing haircuts on little kids and doing um, like uh, specialty styling like for proms and bridal. Um, I do a lot of fashion colors. I love doing big uh, like changes with your hair like uh, like big haircuts or like a big color change. I love um, Excuse me. I love learning about new stuff. I'm constantly learning from other hairstylists and watching them. I, I do a lot of cl online classes. Um, but I do, I follow a lot of the new hair trends. So, some of the fa my favorite things to do is obviously color. Like I just mentioned, I love color. My favorite color technique would probably be probably an ombre. I'm a big fan of an ombre. That is typically for me that is where your natural hair color fades down into a lighter color or blonde. I'll insert some photos here. I just love me an ombre. Um, I love a balayage. Now, balayage is not a color, it is a technique. It is big, bold highlights that um, are extremely easy to grow out. They look like a grown out highlight, but there's no line. It's just um, completely blended. It's uh, definitely meant for someone who likes to go or months in between touch-up services. So if you wanna go like three, four months before touching it up, a balayage is perfect for that. Um, I love doing fashion color. I love big bright color. Um, let's see, I love a men's fade. Those are a lot of fun. My favorite women's haircut is an inverted bob or A-line bob or stacked bob or asymmetrical bob. That's my favorite, favorite women's haircut. I also love a V cut. It's where, it's meant for a client who has super long hair. Um, so when they're standing up straight and you're looking at the back of their hair, it's where it comes into a V. So it's like shorter around their shoulders and it can go all the way down to like the middle of their back in the middle. So it shapes a V, I'll insert a photo here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, I do, I offer a lot of different services. I do facial waxing, I love waxing eyebrows. I love like a big, bold, thick eyebrow. It's my favorite, like Cara or Cara Delevingne. I love her eyebrows, they're so pretty. Um, I love blonding services and I love doing uh, like gray blending or silver blending. So what that means is a client that has been coloring their hair for years 
and they're a little bit older, like typically, and they're, you know, could be 50s, 60s, 70s, they want to stop coloring their hair and they want to embrace their natural color. So whether that be like a dark gray, a light gray, or a silver or white, you would transform their grown out color to match or blend in better with their new gray hair. I love doing those transformations. I'll also add in some photos of that. Um, so yeah, I do a little bit of everything. Um, oh, what's my favorite hair color? Hmm. I really love all colors, honestly. I really do. Um, the number one color that I do a lot of are shades of reds. So I do a lot of coppers. I do a lot of reds or burgundies. I do quite a bit of blonde. Um, I, I love the like Farrah Fawcett haircut or the new butterfly haircut where there's tons of layers in the long hair. I love pixie cuts. I haven't done a pixie cut in a while. I think I have one client right now that has a traditional pixie. Like off the top of my head, I think I just have one. I really do honestly love like a good shaggy mullet. I really do. I think on the right person with the right hair texture, it can look fire. I love like a shaggy, like if you have like lots of natural like curl to your hair or wave, I think it's best for that hair. I think if it's done right, it looks absolutely amazing. Like my son had a mullet when he was a year, year and a half, and I absolutely loved it. It was so curly in the back. I miss his mullet, it was adorable. Um, um, there are certain things I will not do or that I don't do, um, or I'm very picky about. So, like color corrections, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of color corrections. I mean, I'll do a color correction if I am your hairstylist or I know what you've been doing the past, you know, few years. But if I have never met you before and you sit in my chair and your hair is just a spotty, bleached out mess that has black in their hair and they want to go platinum blonde, uh, that's not for me. I don't want to do that. I don't like doing that. I would refer them to somebody else who would love doing it, who's better at it than I am. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the big, chunky, like, uh, Kelly Clarkson highlights. I'm not very good at doing it. That's why I don't really like it. Um, if, it depends on the person too, so, and it depends on the color. Like, the black, red, blonde. I, for the life of me, cannot figure out how to rinse out red and blonde without staining the blonde pink. I have one client that I can do it pretty well. I mean, she'll still have a little bit of pink in the front, but for the most part, it, it's pretty blonde. Um, I don't do long hair uh, perms anymore. I do short hair perms, so if your hair is above your shoulder, I'll do a perm. Long hair perms, I'm not, I've done a few the past few years and they just didn't turn out how I wanted it to. So I kind of lost, I lost the passion for that. So I'll do short hair perms. Um, what else? I do tinsel, I love doing tinsel, adding tinsel um, extensions in your hair. I love doing that for like pops of color. I think it's really pretty. I don't do other types of extensions. I have before, um, but I didn't like it. I mean, they look really pretty, and I honestly did do a really good job, but the client that I had when I did tape and extensions, she went way too uh, long in between her removal process, and it just ended up being a matted mess, and it was, it was awful. It was a very <laughs> traumatizing experience for me, so I haven't done tape in since. That was like five years ago. They looked gorgeous, but ugh, they're definitely meant for a specific client. What else? 
I do classic stuff too, like roller sets. I love me a roller set. Um, I do like old school haircuts, like the Dorothy Hamill haircut. I love that, like a shag. I love a shag haircut. Uh, excuse me. So I'm a very laid back hairstylist. I, I really do pride myself in everything. I try my best at everything. I wanna make sure my clients are very happy when they leave. And I love it when my clients are open and honest with me, because I'm almost I'm open and honest with everybody. Um, if I feel like your hair is not going to look right in a certain color or a cut for you, I try my best to try and word it as positively as I can. Like, hey, I wouldn't suggest that for you because you might not have the right hair type, or or maybe this blonde isn't going to be right for you or right for your hair. It might damage your hair. Um, and I like my clients to be honest with me too. Like if I've done something to your hair and you don't like it, like I want you to tell me. I don't take offense to it because I want my clients to be happy. I don't want anyone to leave my chair unhappy with what I've done. So I love when they're open and honest with me. Um, what? else. A lot of the um, hairstylists that I look up to and that I absolutely love are Sam Via. He's been in the industry for years and he is amazing. I love Sam Via um, and his uh, Andrew Carruthers. I love him. He's really, really amazing with haircuts and he's very good at um, like directing you through a haircut like he speaks very well so does Sam um, I love Presley Poe she's amazing with curly hair I've learned a lot from her with curly hair um, I watch a lot of uh, hair god Zito he is like the best vivid hair colorist I love his videos they're so cool he is such a cool guy I've had the chance to meet him once before and I totally fangirled super hard and cried and it was very embarrassing but I love him. He is an awesome stylist. Philip Wolf is a great, oh, I love him too. He does a lot of great haircuts. So those are a few of the hairstylists that I follow that I really learn from. Um, I also love, also love on Instagram, Josh Does Hair. He is amazing with vivids and the way he curls hair I cannot figure out how he does it and I love it. His colors are gorgeous and he is a really nice, a really nice guy. I just love his content. He's very good. I love Presley Poe's content too. She's amazing. I've met her. She's super sweet. Um, I also love Nick Arojo. He's really amazing. Um, so yeah, like I said, I work at the Chris Edwards Salon in downtown Battle Creek, Michigan. I rent a booth or my station from her, so I work for myself. Uh, my business is the same name as my YouTube channel. It's Hair Me Roar. Um, in my Instagram and professional Facebook page are the same name, so you can follow me there. I post a lot of my before and after photos. I'm constantly posting on there. I stay updated every day. Uh, most days, I should say. Um, so I, I love working at the Chris Edwards Salon. Uh, we have seven, eight, seven or eight uh, stylists and a nail tech in our salon. And we have a really, really good team. I'm not just saying that. Like, I would never just say that. We have a very good team. We all get along. We all come from different backgrounds. We're, we're very diverse in our salon. Chris is a beautiful black woman or woman of color. She's our salon owner. I love her. I've learned so much from her. She's like our salon mom. She's very caring. She is a wonderful human being. She helps everybody out. She gives a lot of advice. Like there's no competition in our salon. We literally all help each other out. And I love that. We all learn from each other. Um, 
Uh, Chris is amazing. I love her. So we have Chris. We have Ambrosia. Ambrosia is our blonding queen. She is so good at blondes. We have Liz. Liz is the newest member. She does a lot of makeup. And she's just now getting back into doing hair. She, there was a few years there where she didn't do hair for a while. Um, but she's trying to get back into it. And she's amazing with makeup. Uh, we have Kim. Kim's like me. She's very laid back. She's very versatile. She offers a lot of services. She does really good perms and men's haircuts. Um, then we have Naika. Love Naika. She is a hoot. She is so funny. I love, love, love her. She has a lot of textured hair services. Like uh, she'll do two strand twists. She'll do locks. Um, she has a lot of textured styling and updos. I'm obsessed with watching her. I've learned a lot from her. Um, Simone is our nail tech. Again, she's awesome. You show her a picture of what you want, she's going to do it. She's so good. And then we have Lisa, I love Lisa. She does a lot of good highlights. I love looking at her highlights. She does gorgeous color. So that's everyone in our salon. We have a really good team. I'm so glad that I work here amazing I would never want to be anyplace else like a lot of people ask me if I would ever consider having my own suite no I do not I do not want my own suite um, so a suite is um, a, like a closed room like you rent a room that is your salon so you'll have one or two styling chairs a, a sink um, so it's your own little like hair apartment in a bigger building filled with other hairstylists in their own room. It's very private. I don't like that. I like being in an open salon with everybody. It's, it's, I love hearing all the conversations between clients and my coworkers. And I've learned a lot of, uh, about clients over the years and we've made, uh, lifetime friendships with a lot of them and you know we've watched kids grow up we've watched people get married we've watched people graduate um, have babies like all of these milestones I just love witnessing like the when they buy houses uh, it's amazing I love I love watching that it's so much fun and I, I love our new location it's beautiful so yeah, that's, I don't think there's anything else to add. I can't think off the top of my head right now. But that's that's who I am as a person, I guess, as a stylist. That's our salon. We are currently hiring. If anyone wants to come work for us, we're a pretty fun group. We're very welcoming. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else to add. If you wanna like and subscribe, Go ahead. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to post uh, informative videos and show really cool hair transformations and colors and education. And that's what I'm here for. I just got home and I forgot to add that I did not grow up being um, a very girly girl. Like I never did my hair. I never did my makeup until about high school because I didn't know what the heck to do with my hair. Uh, I wish I wouldn't have chopped it off. I had really pretty, um, long, wavy hair in middle school, and I chopped it off really short. Um, I wish I wouldn't have, because now looking back, it was so pretty, and I miss it. Um, so I didn't grow up girly girl. I grew up a tomboy. I've got three older brothers, and I just grew up a tomboy. Um, so hair was never... Never in like anywhere in my mind that I ever think that I would grow up to be a hairstylist. I always wanted to be like you know a veterinarian, or there was one point in time where I wanted to be an auto mechanic. Um, I wanted to do. There was a point in time where I really wanted to do aerial photography in the Air Force, but. <laughs> After flying for the first time in high school, finding out I hated flying, I'm like, nope, that's that's not going to happen. Um, but I, before I did hair, 
I did go to college to do uh, 35 millimeter, ooh, sorry, 35 millimeter film photography, but I had to stop doing that because it just got way too expensive. Um, I, I didn't graduate, but I did love doing it, and I still love doing photography for hair. Um, sorry, I'm making dinner. That's what that sound is. Um, so I would eventually love to go back and do photography one day. Um, so yeah, I didn't grow up girly girl. Um, I didn't, uh, start doing my hair until high school. Um, I actually went to the beauty school I graduated from, um, and had one of my friends do my hair. She highlighted my hair for me. It's the first time I ever had it done professionally by someone or a stylist. Um, so I went and I had her highlight my hair. And back then, this was about, I don't know, 2007, 2006. Back then, the owner of the school would walk you around uh, while your color is processing and give you a tour of the school and she would explain to you like how quickly you could get through school um, and that you're basically guaranteed a job right outside of school and then that really that really sparked something in me um, because it's a trade school trade schools you'll get a job so much faster typically that's not with every career but most of the time if you go to a trade you're gonna have a job right outside of school so I ended up really liking what she was saying and not knowing a thing about hair I started shortly after that and come to find out I really love it and then after doing hair for a few years my grandma finally showed me that I have a great grandma um, that graduated from the very first graduating class from Wright Beauty Academy in Battle Creek in 1944 so, it was in my family, not in my blood, because it was her stepmother. So, it was in my family, and she never, she never told me that when I was in beauty school. And I don't know if she forgot, but I, I absolutely love that my great-grandma did that. And I met her. I knew her when I was little, and no one ever told me that. Like, I never knew that. And the cool thing, hold on one second, the cool thing about that is... I actually have her original kit from 1944. Let me pause you so I can grab it. Okay, so I have her original beauty kit, her school kit, from 1944. Ferguson, go away. Sorry, that's my cat. So this is her original box from 1944. How cool is this? And I rarely ever get it out because I just don't want to ruin it. So it's her original beauty box. Like, look at that compared to my hand. It's not very big. But I have that. It's so cool. It's so old. And now I just have nail polish in it. Ferguson. This is my this is my boy Ferguson. He's a mama's boy. Um, but yeah, I I have that and I love it. And I actually do still have um items that were left inside of it from back then i have in a mason jar some of it is newer stuff but most of it is original to 1944 this one. so this mason jar has stuff in it from 1944 like these are perm papers this is um oh what's it called Oh my gosh. Finger waves. This is a clip for doing finger waves. And then there's like old clips and there's old razor blade and old shears. They're so tiny. And there's like old perm rods. It's so cool. I'm very fortunate to have this and I absolutely love it. I will cherish, cherish this the rest of my life. So... Yeah, I figured I would add that too as I forgot to put it in my the original video. So, yeah, that's all there is to know about me and me as a stylist. So, there you go.
so there you go that's who I am a tear me roar go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Facebook though so you can see uh, photos I post a lot of photos so okay that's that's all I have to say uh, I hope everyone has a safe Labor Day have fun if you're doing a cookout be careful and here's to the coming fall I'm so excited for fall I'm so over this hot weather I can't wait for fall Ooh, and all the fall hair colors are coming out and I'm loving it I'm loving the blondes with coppers and auburns and all that oh can't wait for more fall hair so all right I'm going to sign off so bye